up y'all welcome back to the youtube channel and as y'all can see today we have a special guest say hi say hi world my name is serenity <laughs> my smile is so big and my face is so red because i love her so much but anyways guys welcome back to my youtube channel make sure y'all like comment subscribe while y'all watching the video after y'all watch the video make sure y'all go ahead and get that done but as y'all can see by the title down below look mama chunky you see the camera but anyways y'all by the title down below um today is gonna be like a vulner a vulnerable video a, vulner, a vulnerability po i can't really say i don't really know how to say it but yeah a vulnerable video pretty much um showing y'all like my weight before i got pregnant while i was pregnant and um after my pregnancy and of course now like right after i came home and then now like the difference between you know but um just to fill y'all in on a few things um i started working out i believe after my six weeks after i came home which baby girl was born on november 2nd i started working out um after like six weeks after i came home because they you know had to clear me to work out and do all that stuff because they didn't want me to hurt myself but yeah guys so i work out every two days and i take a break every one day and um as far as my eating habits i'm still trying to get back on track because it's like i want to go back to how i was before and eat like one meal a day but it's like my body got used to eating you know as much as i ate when i was pregnant so it's like it don't be say hey mama how's you staring but yeah you know my body got used to um how i was eating while i was pregnant so um i'm still trying to find balance with the eating and just incorporating fruits and stuff like that in my diet but um yeah y'all i work out every two days i take a break every one day and i just been i don't know it's it's a new process one one moment Say we're back and we're back but anyways guys like i said you know it's a new process and all but i'm just still getting used to you know just my new body and everything new because when i told y'all i was totally like i was really really extremely tiny before i got pregnant but we're gonna get more into that when i get when i come back i'm about to go change my outfit so i can show y'all how my body look now and i'm about to go like get I'm probably going back up from the camera a little bit. I'm probably from the front of this window. And I'm going to stand up and show y'all how everything look and all of that. And just fill y'all in on how I feel um, about, you know, my end results. Well, I wouldn't say my end because it's not over yet. You know, I just got, I just had a baby three months ago. But I'm going to just, you know, express to y'all how I really feel and just get really, you know, vulnerable with you guys. But yeah, we'll see y'all in a little bit. Baby girl's probably going to be sitting in her swing or her bouncer playing with her toy or something you know so i can get into this video but say bye guys say bye y'all she didn't talk started trying to talk and hold her head and look she on her own head i'm not holding i'm only holding her front part her, her the front of her but she started holding her head up and stuff on her i'm so proud of mommy <laughs> mommy's so uh oh i'm getting my awkward for this on my lips on you mommy's so proud of her baby she usually be smiling and everything, y'all. She be trying to talk to us, like, sitting there. She'll wake up from a nap, and she'll just be sitting in the room talking for, for, for a while until she gets upset, of course. she would be like, all right, I'm over it now. I'm ready to eat or get changed. But, yeah, guys, she just, she grown by the day, though. She about to be three months tomorrow. On the 2nd, on the 2nd of February. Say, I'm about to be three months years old. Say, three months old. Well, three months, not even years yet, but. All right, guys, well, I'll see y'all in a little bit. Say bye, guys. <laughs> what's up y'all so i'm back um today i'm sitting in a chair um so y'all can kind of see me i'm of course show up i mean stand up and show y'all my body and all of that stuff but um to get started let me scoot up some so i can y'all can see me but um <laughs> to get started um so before i got pregnant i was about i think 130 pounds like maybe 135 and um I don't know, like that January, which is last January, which, which would be 2023, that thing, that January, I was just having a good old time. Like, I went to, um, like a drag, a drag show, um, with my friend, for my friend's birthday. I was just having a good old time. Like, I had done a, I shot a YouTube video. The video that I did, the, um, Truth or Drink or Truth or Dare or something like that, that video I did, I was, was I pregnant? 
No, that was right before I got pregnant. But either way, before I had, um, before baby girl was conceived, I could say, um, I was about 135 pounds. I was really tiny. And from me being that tiny, because I wasn't always that tiny. Um, if y'all can, y'all can go back. Well, it's not on my YouTube channel, but I maybe was 160 to 80 pounds in high school. And, um, after just, you know, a whole bunch of falling off, um, friendships, uh, you know, abusive relationships and things like that. I ended up losing a lot of weight. Like I stopped eating all together um, until I met my baby dad. And you know, he made sure I ate every day and stuff like that. But yeah, I just stopped eating all together. So I got really, really tiny, like my boobs, everything. Like it just literally dropped. Like if y'all follow me on Instagram, go look at my Instagram actually. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. It's in my um, bio um, on my channel. But if y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all see how tiny I got. So, um, I think when I had my daughter, I was still little, like, you know, it was still kicking in and stuff. The fact that, um, you know, I was pregnant and, you know, everything just weight, the weight kicks in later. Like a lot of times the weight, when you're pregnant, it kicks in later. So hold on y'all. So um, when I got pregnant, um, I was still tiny in the beginning. And then like, you know, later on down the line, stuff started progressing. Like my chest started growing, my arms started, you know, my face started filling out and all of that. And so by the time I had her, I was about 220, 225 pounds. Yeah, that's my baby girl in the background. She's in there watching her um, Super Y. I let her watch Super Y so she can, um, you know, it's just informational for her. But she's just in there um, talking, y'all. She's not crying, she's not upset or anything. She's just very vocal right now. She's learning how to make noises and stuff. But um, to resume my story, I was 225 pounds when I had my daughter, um, by the time I had her. And I gained probably 75 to 80, 80 pounds when I was pregnant. Cause like when I gain weight, I gain weight. Like when I lose weight, I lose weight. As y'all can see, if y'all go back to my YouTube, if, uh, to my Instagram, if y'all wanna pause the video right now and go to my Instagram, um, y'all will see how tiny I really got. Like when I lose weight, I lose weight. When I gain weight, I gain weight. So um, when I realized, like you know, the weight on me, like while I was still pregnant with her, and the end of my, at the end of my that's my dog, y'all. At the end of my pregnancy, the weight that I had on me, it really didn't affect me like that. Cause it's like you know, I'm pregnant. Like you know, it's an excuse for it, you know. So um, I didn't really, I couldn't really tell how much I really truly gained because I had a belly on me. I had you know, baby girl in my belly, so it's like I didn't know the the difference between her weight and my weight. So by the time I had her, um, I'm gonna show y'all a picture. When I first got home, like my stomach, it was like, it still looked pregnant. Like I guess, you know, just the fluids and stuff, like, you know, emptying, just everything emptying out of finishing, you know, emptying out of a female's body after they give birth. It was just like a lot of fluid and stuff still left. So I didn't even realize that part right now. But yeah, y'all, it was just, forget it, it can just stay there. But yeah, it was a lot of fluid, you know, and stuff still left in my belly when I first got home. And um, it didn't, it took me a while because when I first, a few days, like maybe a few days or a week after I got home, my breast started leaking. Like, so that was another thing. So of course those blew up even bigger than they already were when I was pregnant. So after a while, you know, when I got home, I started, you know, I got on the scale and I realized I was still 200 and something pounds. So that's when it started to get into me. I'm like, okay, you know, after they cleared me, after these six weeks is up, I gotta start working out. Cause no, like it's not, I'm not used to, you know, when you, once your body like was a certain type of way, you know, for a while, maybe I, I think my body, I was that tiny, excuse me, maybe for about two years. I wasn't, I'm not used to none of this. Like my chest, it was way, you know, and I'm just being completely vulnerable. This is a vulnerable video. My chest was like way smaller. Like they were literally like, I ain't trying to be like funny, but they were like, you know, flabs. Like they were just, you know, they had just shrunk. Like I lost so much weight. Y'all can go back and see it on my Instagram. My arms, they weren't this big. Like my legs, I'm not used to, hold on. Let me show y'all while I'm talking about it. I'm tripping. Oh, hey, stand up. Give me a second, guys. But um, yeah, guys. Um, so this is me now. Um, I'm not really gonna turn around. I'm not trying to do all of that. But my boobs are really, really big. Um, and when I first started out, like I didn't have any boobs. I didn't have stomach. I never really had a stomach like that. But as y'all can see now, 
my belly it has you know i still have stretch marks and stuff they haven't completely you know lightened up yet and all of that but you know this is me now i got a little hip over there but um and i'm But as I said earlier, um, I've been working out, you know, pretty much most of the month. I do two days on, one day off. So y'all can really, you know, just calculate that on y'all own. But, um... I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going to get it off naturally. I believe in doing stuff naturally. Like even when I was losing weight before and I wasn't eating and stuff like that, I was still, you know, working out every once in a while. Even when I lost weight, you know, from when I was in high school, I worked out like every, you know, way I've lost weight. Either it was, you know, it's life just life in, or it was me being in the gym. Most of the time it was me being in the gym. So, you know, while I'm at home, like until I go back to work, which I go back to work in maybe like another week or so um i'm working out like i'm doing what i have to do because i know the goal like i really it's not that i want to get as tiny and i'm gonna show y'all again where i'm at okay but it's not that i want to be like because i you know i'm fine with you know where i'm at right it's not you know bad or you know anything like it's i just pushed out a whole child so i do understand that too like you know that's a big fact you know on my brain like i do understand that but um, it's not that I want to be as skinny or small as I was, because like I said, it was very unhealthy. I wasn't eating, you know, at first until I got my baby dad. Like I said, right before I met him, though, I wasn't eating none of that. And you know, I got somebody that cared about me in my life, and you know, he, you know, motivated me, made sure I ate. But yeah, y'all. So um, I don't want to be as small as I was, but I do want to tone some stuff up. Like this, I want to get this tight into where, because when you work out, most of the time, you know, your boobs do end up going down. So I'm gonna do like some tightening stuff to tighten, you know, this stuff right here. So this can go back down. Cause I want this maybe, what am I? I'm like a triple D right now, being completely vulnerable, a triple D. I really want to be maybe like a, I'm gonna take like a, maybe like a double D, a single D. If they even do a single D, I'll do something, you know, like that. And I'll take something like that. And for my waist, like I really just want, I want my stomach gone, but it's gonna take a little while. Because, oh, sorry, y'all, I didn't mean to say I didn't. It's going to take a little while. I don't have a lot. It's just, you know, really just the extra left from, you know, as much, you know. It's just really the extra left from, you know, my skin stretching and stuff like that. But I want all of that gone. I know the stretch marks are still going to be there, but I'm going to use oil and stuff for that. I'm going to use oil and stuff for that. And then, um... I don't know about wearing like waist trainers. Like I was wearing like a girdle when I first came home. And the only reason I had a girdle is because I didn't have a waist trainer at the time. So my mom let me borrow the brand new one she had. But I stopped wearing it because it's like it just felt like it was squeezing me. Like maybe it was too early to wear it. But I want my stomach gone. I want my butt bigger. I do squats. Like the workouts I do at home, they do include squats, 20 squats um a day. Yeah. But um, I want my butt bigger. I like the little hips I got, but I want those to get, you know, I want a little bit more hips. But I want my stomach flat and I want my boobs. I want those way smaller because I'm not used to, you know, this anymore. But it takes some getting used to. Like I said, I am very aware that I just had a child. And yeah, um, am I happy with myself? I don't hate myself right now. Um, like I said, it's just some stuff I want to tone up. I do understand that I just had a child. So, you know, it's just... It ain't going to do like that, you know. And I'm not going to get a surgery. Nothing against it. I'm not even going to speak on that because it's like I don't want, you know, people to get sensitive or anything like that. But one day I probably will tell y'all my opinion on that. I'm not completely against it and I'm not completely for it either. But we'll see, you know. I'm going to speak on that one day. But, yeah, guys, I'm not just going to go, you know, I'm not going to get a surgery right now. Anything like that. Just let y'all know I'm going to work out for now and, you know, just do it the natural way and do what I got to do. Like diets and different teas and things like that. Because, you know, I don't, I can't put that pressure on my body. I just went through a major pretty much surgery. Like, giving birth is pretty much like a surgery. And I don't need to put myself through something else, you know, like that so soon or, you know. But, 
um that was my video for you guys my completely vulnerable video i showed y'all my body and stuff and i'm gonna show y'all pictures of what my body first looked like when i first came home versus now it's like stuff is kind of trying to tone up on its own my hips and stuff like that you know my butt everything you know I ain't gonna go too into detail but everything just you know it's smaller than it was i can say now it's just about toning everything up and losing you know what i want to lose where i want to lose it but make sure y'all like comment subscribe turn on those post notifications this video i think i'm gonna end this video right here or i might add something else to it but i think i'm gonna end it right here but make sure y'all stay tuned for the next video make sure y'all like comment subscribe turn on those post notifications and i'll see y'all in the next video but yeah guys so um i just want you guys to go on this journey with me um and just see you know watch me reach my goals like i'm appreciative of you know all the different pounds and stretch marks and just all the weight you know that i've gained um it's just new to me like it takes some adjusting to get to like it's certain things i can't wear anymore it's certain things i don't wear certain things i'm not comfortable wearing and i'm just you know i'm getting used to my new body like i'm a whole mother out here i carried a whole child in my belly like it still amazes me till today and she's hearing everything you know i'm very like in the moment like i'm very aware it's just it still amazes me to this day and it's just gonna take some getting used to but like i said you guys just go on this journey with me i'm grateful for everything i love my stretch marks don't get me wrong it's new you know the extra skin i have that's new to me you know that's that's it's different like i said you know it's new but i'm grateful for all of the changes because it was for a great cause like i'm not ungrateful it's just new to me like it's different but i have my goals and i'm going to reach them so yeah y'all just go on this journey with me and yeah period and like just overall my goal is just to you know just get my confidence back like it's not that it's you know completely gone but my body's mind everything you know it's been through a lot of changes in one year like it's you know crazy and amazing beautiful all at the same time like it's just you know it's a new process but i just you know i want to get back fully confident like i used to be and yeah i just got to get comfortable in my new body so but yeah guys just thank you for going on this journey with me though